Manchester United 1, Celta Vigo 1 on the night, 2-1 to Manchester United on aggregate, means Manchester United will be going to Stockholm to play in the Europa League final on the 24th of May against Ajax, which means Manchester United are just one game away from Champions League qualification and that European competition which we've not won yet and it's the only competition Manchester United have not won in our history, mainly because we've always been in the Champions League, but we are one game away from winning it now. And to be honest with you, um, it was always Manchester United's tie to lose. We always went into it as the favourites and we had the massive advantage going into it. 1-0 up from that first leg where Marcus Rashford scored a superb free kick to win 1-0 away in Spain. So we didn't just get the away goal this time, we got an away win. We went into the second leg at Old Trafford knowing that a win would put us through and as well would a, a, a draw. So anything apart from a defeat would put Manchester United into that uh, Champions, uh, Europa League final. Um, and to be honest with you, it was always important that we got the first goal. I mean, Celta Vigo, if they get the first goal, then it cancels out. You know, if Celta Vigo score, um, then it's all level 1-1. One, one, we're going to extra time. So that's why the first goal is always going to be a massive, um, massive goal because whoever scored it has a massive, massive uh, impact on the tie. Manchester United got the goal. Marouane Fellaini, and I've got to be honest with you, it's a superb cross from Marcus Rashford, a great header from Marouane Fellaini at the back post. Manchester United are 1-0 up, 2-0 up on aggregate. Celta Vigo needed two goals in the remaining 90 to get themselves into that uh, Europa League final. And Manchester United didn't really have too many problems, really, if I'm going to be honest with you. I mean, Celta Vigo, this was branded their biggest match of their history. It was their cup final for them, really. Um, and it was a big match for Manchester United as well, don't get me wrong, but this was supposed to be Celta's biggest match of their history. And up until their goal in the 8th, 5th minute, they didn't really pose any threat for Manchester United. I thought it was quite a comfortable sailing until they scored, and they did get a goal in the 8th, 5th minute, which made it a very nervy ending for Manchester United. We had 11 minutes to play, but he got sent off. One of their players got sent off as well just after their goal. We had 11 minutes to hold on, and uh, I mean, realistically, the game should have been killed off ages before you know Manchester United in the first leg you know they should have had it they should have had it one and they, they should have got a second before they even got themselves back into the game we let them back into the game and to be fair it was a good header but we had 11 minutes to hold on and they made it difficult for Manchester United in the last 11 minutes and they should have got a goal in the 96th minute when Gazzetti gets through and he, he should have put it in but he doesn't, he misses it and that was a huge let off for Manchester United as it was the last kick of the game and if he puts that in, Manchester United will not win the Europa League, Manchester United will not be in the Champions League next season so that was a massive, massive, massive miss for it could have a massive effect on if we're saying this is a successful season or unsuccessful season for Manchester United and Jose Mourinho in his first season here. But I mean, I talk about doing it the hard way. That you know, this is the Manchester United thing these days. We always make it hard for ourselves. I mean, if you look at the roster of game, you know, we went one 0 up in the away leg and then we threw it away, and then in the second leg we scored a late goal to put us one 0 up, and then we almost conceded right at the death to put. Send it into extra time, and then the end of that game, we should have won the away game 1 0. But then they conceded, we conceded right at the death, and then we forced the extra time in the second leg. And then against Celta Vigo, we should have won the first leg by more than one goal, and then we should have killed it off before they got their goal. Um, so, yeah, we always make it hard for Manchester United South. I don't always understand why we sit back and invite them into us, which is exactly what we did. And you know, it was very, very nervy, it was almost really hard to watch. Our heart was in our mouth. and it was really, really difficult to watch and Cadetti had a great chance to win it. I mean, I'm going to be honest with you, we should be beating Celta Vigo. Um, let's not get ahead of ourselves here. We should be beating Celta Vigo. We've had an easy run, really, with St. Etienne, Rostov, and Alex and uh, Celta Vigo. But, I mean, they, they should be causing problems for Manchester United. This is their biggest game in their history. They've been resting players for weeks. But at the end of the day, none of their players are getting the Manchester United team. Their best two players is a City reject and a Liverpool reject. And let me say it to you, Ego Aspas was absolutely shocking in the two legs. Good death, he missed a handful of chances. And it, you know, I always don't get why players always they talk uh, talk before the game, like saying, "Oh yeah, we're going to make Manchester blue." And, you know, we're going to make the Manchester United fans cry and all that. When he was the one crying come full time, you know, just don't talk until the end of the game, in my opinion. But he talked before the game and in the end he's eating his words because what he said just makes him look daft in the media now. But either way, no, Santa Vigo, they're 12th in the league. None of their players are getting Manchester United. You would expect United to beat Santa Vigo. 
um, and we have done, but we did make it really difficult for ourselves. I mean, I don't think it was a great performance from Manchester United, but at the end of the day, who actually cares? We've had performances over results in the season in games like Burnley and Arsenal this season, where we should have beaten them at home this season. We've not got the result because we've thrown it away. Today, I don't really care about that. You know, we've got through to the final of the Europa League, and we're just one game away now against Ajax from getting that Champions League qualification. And I think if we win that final, I think we're in a really, really good position because. I think you'd say two trophies, uh, Europa League, quali uh, Champions League qualification, I think would be great, but we can't lose that final because if we do, we won't be playing Champions League football next season, we'll be playing Europa League football next season. And we can't play Europa League football next season, it has a massive impact on the league. And, you know, I want to win the Europa League this season to get Champions League football and to win a, a piece of silverware, but I don't want to be here next season. Um, but either way, you know, we've we got into that final. Um, we're one game away from Champions League qualification for next season. We're one game away from um, solving that jigsaw puzzle of sealing that Europa League for the first time in our history. And let's hope we can, but obviously Bailly is a massive miss. I'm not even sure if he should have been sent off either, but either way, he is a big miss. But anyway, we've got Tottenham on Sunday, and that's going to be a difficult game knowing that obviously they're... Um, so yeah, their last game at White Hart Lane, so that's not going to be an easy game. But either way, Manchester United are one game away against Ajax on that 24th of May for winning this competition. Thanks for watching this video. See you later.